Gong Yoo is one of the most recognizable faces in the South Korean entertainment industry. He has been an actor for more than 20 years now, and his fan base has grown exponentially over the years. The actor has starred in some of the biggest K-dramas and films such as Silenced, Train to Busan, Goblin, and Squid Game to name a few. Throughout his career, he has brought home more than a dozen trophies from award shows. Check out these 10 facts you might not know about Gong Yoo. He originally had no intention of becoming an actor. Gong Ji Chol, better known by his stage name Gong Yu, was born on July 10, 1979, in Busan, South Korea. He graduated with a bachelor's degree in theater. However, he revealed that he did not think about being an actor when he chose his major. It was only after interacting with the people around him during his university days that got him interested in acting on screen. Although he wasn't really confident at first, he worked his way into the industry by starting as a VJ and host for Mnet and MBC from 2000 to 2004. He then starred in small supporting roles in various K-dramas, which earned him nominations and wins for new actor awards by prominent Korean award-giving bodies. With his steady rise to popularity, the TV and movie projects also came in one after the other. He turned down Goblin for years. Gong Yu revealed a whole new surge of popularity due to the success of Goblin, also known as Guardian, the Lonely and Great God. When he was asked to star in the drama, he turned it down. He did not turn it down once. He turned it down every time he was presented with the role for years. The actor had been in a K-drama hiatus for a couple of years before Goblin. The reason for the hiatus was that he developed a fear of K-dramas, so he was afraid that he wouldn't be able to pull off the role in Goblin. He changed his mind due to a meeting with the writer. He was shocked by how humble she was and how much she wanted him to be involved with the project. The conversations with the writer helped him open up a little and made him more comfortable about accepting the role. For playing the immortal goblin who searches for a human bride to turn him mortal, Gong Yu won Beksong Arts Award for Best Actor in 2017. He saves water usage after The Silent Sea. In 2021, he starred in Netflix's Korean drama The Silent Sea as an exploration team leader who must carry out a crucial mission with limited information. The eight-episode drama tells of a near-future Earth suffering from extreme desertification, draconian measures have been put in place for potable water rationing. Gong Yu shared how the environmental message of The Silent Sea impacted his daily life, saying, When I shower in the winter, I turn on the water for a bit before stepping inside, but after this drama, I started turning off the taps more. I've heard fans tell me the same thing. I'm grateful for people who shared those stories with me. He sparked a change in Korean law. When he was serving his military service, his senior gave him a copy of Gong Ji Yong's novel The Crucible to congratulate him on his promotion. The book is based on the true case of sexual abuse against hearing impaired children in a school in Gwangju, South Korea. The actor went on to develop and produce a movie based on the novel. In the 2011 movie Silenced, he played a newly appointed art teacher who discovers that the deaf students in the school were sexually abused by fellow teachers and the principal of the school. The movie sparked public outrage after it showed that the offenders got off either scot-free or with light punishments. The case was then reopened, and a new bill was subsequently passed to target sex crimes against minors and the disabled in South Korea. This new law is named the Dogani Law, after the Korean title of the film. When asked about his reaction to Silenced's success and his involvement in sparking public outrage for human rights, Gong Yu said he merely played a character in a compelling story and that change was set forth by the public. It did, however, change his views about his craft immensely. He said in an interview with CNN, after Silenced, I feel now I have a bigger responsibility as an actor. He was scared of the zombies in Train to Busan. The actor starred in the zombie film Train to Busan in 2016, which premiered at the Kana Film Festival. The heartfelt thriller broke the opening week record in Korea with 5 million tickets sold, and it also gained him international recognition. Acting in a horror movie is hard for Gong Yu because he's scared easily. He doesn't like horror films and he can't watch them alone. When he took part in Train to Busan he claimed that he was not even acting. He was scared in general. He said to SBS's because I want to talk. The costume and makeup for Train to Busan were so realistic that I fought to the death despite knowing that they were fake. I used all of my strength to run when they chase after me. He felt his curses in Saw Bok refreshing. In the 2021 movie Saw Bok, Gong Yu starred as a former intelligence agent who is tasked with ensuring the safe transportation of mankind's first human clone. 
as a film that revolves around the subject of clones and deals with the topic of life and death, the actor felt it was a bit of a story for him to portray. He talked about swearing in the film in an interview, saying, it's pretty much my first time swearing in a project. I did barely any projects with swearing in them. I thought, I only played the nice guy that didn't suit me, and it was refreshing. It was nice to curse freely. People tend to curse in emergencies, so it felt refreshing, because it felt like those restrictions were being lifted. I wanted to swear more. He often goes to the gym to stay healthy to continue acting. Gong Yu has played many roles where he has needed to exert himself physically. To keep himself fit, he goes to the gym daily to train with his personal trainer. When he isn't preparing for a role, he goes to the gym for two to three hours a day to work on his physique and to clock in his cardio for the day. When he's preparing for a role that requires him to show off his physique, he sometimes visits the gym twice a day. He once shared in an interview, I don't feel physically the same as before. But I will continue to exercise hard and take care of my physical strength. People around me tell me to take care of my appearance with laser, but I won't do that. They nag me to do it in advance. I think they're worried that I'll disappear from the industry in a moment. But as long as my joints allow me to, I will keep my body healthy by keeping fit. He chooses his projects very carefully. It seems like Gong Yu has a Midas touch, with every project he comes across turning to gold. Well, it turns out that it isn't just luck involved. From the very start, he has been known for being very picky about his projects, focusing less on the characters he needed to play and choosing dramas and movies that have promising stories instead. He stated that he doesn't want to be stuck in a particular role and he wants to move forward. It's clear just how diverse the roles he's taken on are, from a rich cafe owner in Coffee Prince to a socially just teacher in Silenced and even an immortal looking for his bride in Goblin. He mentioned in a separate interview that, whenever he chooses his projects, he spends a lot of time thinking through things over and over again until he is sure that he can do the role justice. He also revealed that the overall message of a project has become more important to him when he chooses his roles. He spends most of his time at home. Being a star isn't always as easy as it seems, and even the most easygoing and approachable stars get fed up with the constant onslaught of attention. Despite being one of the most famous actors in South Korea as well as internationally, Gong Yu is protective of his personal life. He said that he doesn't enjoy being recognized on the street and spends most of his time at home. He's not ready to settle down yet. Gong Yu, who is believed to be single, has admitted that he is putting aside thoughts of marriage for now. Marriage isn't in the cards for him right now. He mentioned that he's not the type of person women prefer. He explained on you quiz on the block, I don't tend to be bold or courageous when it comes to love. If anything, I can only confess my feelings if I become one of my characters because it's comfortable thinking that it's not actually me. But being the real Gong Ji Chol is hard. That's why I enjoy acting. I get to become a character who's not me and do everything that I couldn't do because I was too shy or embarrassed in real life. There's a sense of satisfaction that comes with that.